Hi, and welcome to my playhouse and see picture in picture. <laughs> this is fun. Apparently not. Okay, I'll kill that again. But I'm here in the basement and I have a little project that I've been working on some months ago and then I ran into a halt because I needed parts from China and they have arrived. So um, let's go to the table and see what I'm playing with. Here it is. It's the long LED lamp. You see it goes all the way down here, right there. But the electronic is broken and we had to change that out. And I've got some spare parts here from China Land. And it's a couple of, I think these were Intel MOSFETs. But I'm gonna try and mount one of them and see if, if they will just let out the smoke again. That often happens. Uh, we have been changing a lot of other diodes and stuff on that. If you go back and see the video, you will see what I've tried so far. I have gotten some advice and that is to, when I turn it on, put another lamp uh, light bulb in series with this thing so that if this is kind of shortening out, this will take all the amperage and hopefully not damage this anymore. I'm gonna try out that. So it, it's like normally I would put this, put 220 volts on this instead i will put 220 volts on this and this in series so yeah i'm gonna be mounting one of these first i have checked that these are alike and they are and i'm just gonna measure let's just see the the old one i'm gonna uh, the multimeter is on diode testing so i'm gonna test between these two legs and there is 0 0.3 volts between those and over here there is 0, 0.00 so that is probably very short circuited over here on the new one we have infinite or open circuit and over here we have 0 0.005 volts so it's not a total short circuit but it's very close that one at all, between those, 0 0.3. So it's definitely different than the old one. So we're gonna do some work on that. I'm just gonna bend it like the old one. So I'm gonna take my pliers here, kind of the same precision here. And I'm gonna bend it the same place. Where is that? It's just beneath there. So that it's ready to go into the circuit board. There we are. Over here, I'm heating up my soldering iron. Here I have a device we call this in Danish. It's called a tin sucker. <laughs> tin super, tin sucker. And that's because we call this we call this tin. So this is a soldering tin sucker. So we're gonna see if we can get holes through here so I can put in this. There's a hole. Another hole. A battery that is done discharging with the holes now desoldered I can put the new one in like that now we're gonna give it a new layer of tin I moved the camera over here because now we can see everything. I have the setup here. I have a 220 volt cord coming in over here. It's not connected yet. There, 
that goes out to some crocodile leads down here and uh, yeah if you don't know anything about electronics you shouldn't do this because this is stupid i'm only doing this because i'm a professional idiot and i'm going through this lamp that is turned on i've checked that already and then it goes into the led strip so uh, well let's turn it on and see how much smoke this can get okay. It's alive! It's working! Cool! Both of them is living up, so they are kind of dividing the power right now. I'm not gonna touch anything because there's 220, 30 volts on that, but I would say that's a success. Now I have to try and remove this. Can I actually just power it off? Let me see that. It's powered off. We can power it on. There we are. It has a bad connection. So right now it's working. Both of them are sharing the power. If this was gonna short circuit, this would light up more and take all the power from that one. That's at least that's the idea. So instead of me replacing a lot of electronics every time, that would be how that should work. And my only problem is that I put in a, a fuse here and I haven't ordered new fuses for this. I really should. It works right now. I'm gonna take the lamp out of the loop. I'm actually gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna disconnect it. I'll put that in real good. And try and power it on again. See what happens. Hopefully it works. It works. We have a success. I fixed it. Yeah. Ah, I guess I didn't fix it enough. This one got very hot and smoked and set up and then the light disappeared. And I just happened to turn off the camera at that exact moment. Oh, I wanted that. It's probably this one that is dead again. I'm gonna take the MOSFET out again and I'm gonna take out this big diode right here. I am suspicious of those. And we're gonna measure those and see if it destroyed my new China MOSFET. Get the multimeter into view. Is it in view? Kind of. And we're gonna measure this again. I didn't even get to cut the legs of it. I think it's... The MOSFET doesn't seem to be blown this time. Let's check the diode. Short circuit. Short circuit. Yeah. This one blue. So probably something else is bad too, further down the line. It's just a diode that blew. The expensive, or really not that expensive, it just takes a bloody long time for it to arrive from China. That is still good. So I need to find a new one of these diodes, and this is the diode is called M10. It's probably so common. Oh, it's called. I'm not sure if it's called M10 or if it's called 1C. Mm. FS57 M1C. Oh, I'll go look that up. I'm gonna put this back in. So I'm up here at the computer trying to find this little diode that has died. And first I searched for the... let's just go back. I searched diode M1C and it came up with some suggestions and I just took this one. It looks like the one I need, but then it does not anyway. This says that this is a IN5401. That's not what I'm looking for. And I found down here that the M1C is the brand name. So that's no good. So I went on to search for the other thing that's on the diode and that's the... I searched for diode and SF56. With that number I had much more luck. 
there was a lot of diodes here with that name and even some really cheap ones. Here I get 20 pieces for just 90 cents. That's cheap. Down here I get the same 20 pieces for about 2.5 dollars. I'm not sure which one I should choose. This is about a dollar 20 for 20 pieces. And yeah, you can almost pick the price yourself. I think I will go with the cheap one and I'll go with one of the other ones as well. Just to see uh, when we're talking that amount of money, it's really just who can deliver first. So I think I'll order this one. I'll buy that. Oh, I guess I have to log in. So I bought those. Actually, I bought 20 from this company and I bought 20 from this company and I tw bought 20 from this company. So it's gonna be rather exciting to see when I get those. So <laughs> that's 60 diodes I just ordered and I just need probably two. <laughs> okay, so what does that? That's five dollars. It's, it's six dollars. So that's okay. Um, Let's go down to the basement and wrap this up. Yeah, this is probably as far as I'm gonna get with this project this time. Now I'm again waiting for spare parts. I could go down to the local shop and just get it, but I like getting it from China and well, we're not in a hurry. It's just, it's just a lamp. So thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. You want to see this uh, working too. We kind of had it working for a little bit and then it let, let out the smoke again. Uh, there might be something else wrong with it, but without spare parts, I can't really get any further. So um, yeah, have a nice day. Bye bye.